So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to play the game of the ET2. So I chose a 5.5 ET2 for this dog. We chose this size too because the sticks was too long, so we wanted to reduce the amount of dead space. So measuring this, this fits well for this patient. Before I insert it, I'm going to be checking the, the cuff, making sure it doesn't inflate without any leaks. Yeah, that's a good balloon. The other one had such a puny balloon to it, that's why we chose that one. And then deflating it again, so that it can go into the patient. And Aaron, I'm going to be making a dosing chart with it. Okay. Any dog under 20 pounds, version? I use that smaller version. This dog's 14 pounds. He wants to do one microgram per kilogram. This dog can't have a dosing chart. Gently press on his back to make sure I can feel some air. Yep, I can tie this in place. I'm gonna put him on his side and attach him to. Making sure to turn on the oxygen first. Inflating the cuff before I put it on the anesthesia. And I'm going to push the pop off valve so I can give him a breath, making sure it's working. You saw the chest rise? There you go, beautiful. So go ahead and. Can you guys see? Sedation and aspiration of the spleen. Okay. See if he would have time for one more case that Dr. Owens is going to come talk to him about. Okay. This just goes in the sink, right? Come on. Come on. So she's already fucked over here. Okay. Well, if you grab the leash, I'll. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Did you feel like I think we put the cone on it so we can handle them, but they are allowed to lick them out. Is that weird enough? Um, I 